And there we go for the Joust final. And there we go. And introducing the players. We have in the color red. Linga Jandar. It's Observer Cow. He sings at TC. What a location. By berries. By a large gold vein. And by a couple of wood lines. But the, there's this villager right there. A weird, uh, weird game states we got uh, going on. Uh, slightly more to the south of the map, it's Sam 3236. I think it's the Delhi Sultanate placing the, village, the TC with only. This was mega random. Oh, what are those? Very interesting. We'll go through the map in a second. So, Blink is Delhi spawning by deer, which is slightly better, but two gold veins that's actually all. Uh, in the pink, it's Hounds playing as the Malians, spawning by berry bushes, so that's sa the safest food you can get, right? It's also the safe. There are a couple of, um, a bunch of sheep around here, some wood lines, it's not a bad location for the DC. Tight to the edge of the map, though, that might be... I feel like that could be a blessing or a curse, depends on how the game goes. Because either you can't expand, <laughs> or you're protected. <laughs> this is... Alright, and then the Cyan, all alone, inside of the map, it's Couch Tomato. Couch Tomato playing as the Roos. So Hunt will have to get killed. Looking over the map now, we have, um, we have a lot of mountains, impassable mountains. Um, yeah, which will make this a very closed map. This might be the large expanse of the open area out there. And as you can see, we got in the Ubid Dynasty's Fury Road. I forgot to introduce him. The Lord of the Deer. So the first scout's gonna have to get the deer in. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. So there's a big stone. There's a big stone. Yeah, small golden relic in this. Uh, in the southern corner, in the western corner, just a bunch of wood lines. Uh, Hounds may be in, in a decent spot here. What? Observe a cow, though. Just finished off that mill. Open the berries first. You will have a little bit of sheep to herd from. Well, not all is lost. Not all is lost here. Sam and the orange playing at the deli. Odd queuing up is um, this text, uh, which is, of course, a little bit odd. And uh, as Dali, you see the resources of them. 100% you can get a moss cup. Uh, it's da dangerous. He's the, probably the most defended, but also claustrophobic position. Gonna be interesting. There's a lot of resources here in the center, along with two trade posts. Imagine being Byzantines and just facing a thing here, placing him <laughs> uh, a mercenary camp. Wonder if you get both uh, both options and uh, how would that work? Yeah, but you'd get knights uh, and Mangadai in Fiddle Age. You'd get uh, horse archers and uh, the desert rangers and castle age. Not too bad. So let's, uh, let's keep tabs on Couch Tomato here and see his bounty. Right now it's 70, of course, with the tiers, you get a lot more advantages over the bounty. Did I? I think I missed a couple. Did I had the, the unique thing. Alright, there we go. Um, so yeah, Fury Road is gonna have a good start here. This gold is so far away. So Fury Road, I think the Ayubid strategy really has to be to go for a military uh, play where he gets the free Desert Raiders and maybe trying the fast castle that is better right now. We might have time. Um, I don't really think he can play Feudal Age really that well. Uh, for Couch Tomato, I'll just play as if this is a, a 1v1 or a team game. And close this up, he has access to the deer here in the back. Uh, plenty of wood. 
got two goals, we've got one stone. So worry about defending at home, getting a good army, and then go out on the map and do the thing. Uh, for uh, for cow, uh, Sam and Hounds, it's gonna be a very very strange game. <laughs> but Hounds, Hounds may have found something. You can close the area down. I uh, maybe if this DC is here, this is legit. Yeah, but it's terrible for Hounds though. Uh, he's got deer. As long as he has, he's got sheep. I mean. Sheep, he has the, the, the berries here, and as long as he has access to that and gold, he always has food, and he has a lot of wood around his DC, so... Cows with a little bit of luck in Fiddle Age by not getting attacked by everybody. I uh, might, have, uh, might have a shot. Uh, on the other hand here, Sam... Sam might be the first to fall just from positioning alone. This mountain here is really screwing him over. Uh, nowhere to up to. And it's going with the Tower of Victory, which I believe so that it can have a prolonged fight in Feudal and uh, use his spears and archers. Effectively, no! No! No, don't do that! Oh, I don't think that DC can see! Oh, and all of a sudden, look at that! Got Stamato at 200 bounty! You can find 50 more. Tier 2 is really good. Obviously, Tier 3 is what you eventually want, but uh, now this is not terrible. Oh, look at that. Cal going up with four uh, villagers building the building the School of Cavalry. Not really doing it with Jean d'Arc, the peasant. Can we see the experience? We can, and he's already... Already has enough experience. And you go with Woman at Arms, yeah? Woman at Arms, and then you can go with uh, Champion Champions or Rider Companions. Oh, we went Hunter. Uh, don't know why Hunter. Uh, not the other one, but uh, yeah, Cow will show me for sure. Uh, Oh, interesting. Nice walls. Nice. Not quite the walls I had in mind. But these are good walls. Open on this side, though, and for. Uh, nah. No, this one. Yeah. Um. Couch Tomato uh, has to be careful. He has to build a house. He is building a house. Uh, let's see how people are doing here. We have Fury Road already with his landmark up. Uh, not everything is connected here. This is Golden Age Zero. But I'm sure the house is connected. Yeah, anyway. Um, Fury should be close to waging up, and I'd like to see. I think it's reinforcements. Fury, Fury. I don't know what Fury is doing here. Alright, we have a Kremlin on basically one of the choke points to this base. This is a nice Kremlin. A nice Kremlin. I don't think the Golden Gate offers nearly as much value in an FFA as Kremlin does. Sam has aged up with the Tower of Victory. There's a lot of sheep to go. The gold as well. And I think he's trying to fast castle here. See if he can the resources of everybody. Well, Fury uh, just uh, aged up and is going with Industry. 300 wood for aging up. And he's going on stone. This is going to be a fast second PC. Don't think he has the time to get that settled. Uh, but he might prove me wrong. We have a Mazic Quarry here for Hounds. We have the School Cavalry for Cow. Sam, yeah, he's hoarding way too many resources. Not no wood whatsoever, so this is for sure a fast castle. And the only wood line he can get, kinda, is this one, and it's in a really bad position. Yeah, the Kremlin here for Couch Tomato Fury, still the only one aging up. These are taking a natural course. Here we have the last uh, few sheep uh, turned down here. Got all of the upgrades as well. Eco upgrades that you need, wheelbarrow and the hunting upgrade. He's going for the hunt. Tomato, this is turning out to be good. We've got 
a couple of units here on a palisade wall from Hounds. Trying to get to this uh, pit mine. I'm protecting this one. Interesting choice by a hound. Because now you'd be generating gold of both of them. Uh. Yeah, so there's a lot of the map underexplored here. It's always like that in free for alls, isn't it? It's always a mess. Oh, these are one tile away. Ah, oh, these are on food. Bad. Uh, Sam should be close to waging up. Yeah, Sam is close to waging up. Less than a minute. Until he gets set down. He's getting the house down. Oh, this wood line is actually not too bad. The Fury should have just about the resources. Oh, he has no f How does he have no stone? Oh, because he just put down the TC. Getting more stone? He wants to put down a third TC? Not actually building the second one. Just leave one villager building it. Go collect the stone. You need it. One triple TC. Triple TC. I like the triple TC play. A lot more than two TC. Oh, look at that. How it's building up a stone wall. Already tall outpost, the fortified. I think it does have arrow slits. Going for stone? What are you thinking of a second TC? He's just getting his houses destroyed. That's terrible for house for many reasons. There you go, Fury on a second TC. Uh, Couch Tomato could definitely benefit from a second TC instead of going with multiple scouts. Oh, did you get Pro Scouts? Oh, oh, you could have gotten Pro Scouts, mate. Pro Scouts and start taking in the deer? That would actually have been a really nice play. Hound's already under pressure here. Not going for the pit mine right away. That's... that's brave. Fire Restoration is pretty good. It's pretty good. And I don't think um, people really use it enough. Got cow here already through the berries that were in here, going now through the sheep. Already with the farm, and because it's on a slope, it feels really crazy. We got a compound with the defender here for Sam. Sam forced to build stuff very far away. He's going on stone, of course he is. Uh Kevin, oh look at that. Fury trying to very desperately get enough stone for the 30 C up. Uh, does he get fresh food stuffs? Uh, let's see that. He does not. He does not, so there's not that additional benefit from... Um, is there something here on the culture ring, maybe? No, there isn't. There isn't, so it's just triple PC for the sake of having more villagers. Okay, there we go. One of the spears died, but we got the boar carcass. Hot Tomato was is close to aging up. He just needs to get a little bit of gold and he should be in Castle Age. And I think he's gonna need it because everybody's gonna be bringing in armored units. We have Fury trying to scout, but uh, yeah, Sam already expanded. Yeah, the compound of the Defender already um, makes the keep, uh, the keep cost less. Village Fortresses just makes keep sex like down center, so... It's not as urgent, uh, maybe, as some people might think. It's, but of course they want to pump out villagers as uh, well, By having Compounded Defender, we already get a huge b b boost. To how you can produce your keeps. Uh, and Blacks, Double Blacksmith, I like that, I like that. Uh, and to get to the, those uh, blacksmith uh, upgrades as fast as you can now. Oh, there we go. There's the boar. Let's see the boar go down. We're already 275 bounty. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Look at that. Another minute without producing knights. Uh, Couch tomato can eat up. You really want the knight to tank the, the damage from the boar, don't you? Uh. The least amount of units that die, the better, I suppose, but uh, getting that boar is important. It's free gold. Alright, so we have Fury here with triple PC. 
Let's see how Howls is doing. Howls is just building more houses because that's the only thing he can do. I need to get his branches, but he has no space. Oh, that's terrible. He has no space. That DC should be around here. Alright, there we go. Boar is defeated. We have 350 bounty. Um. It looks like a wall on the minimap for houses, doesn't it? There we go, couch tomato can each up. Let's see if and uh, with what landmark is up. Oh my god, what a location! There we go, what a location for my trade. It's gonna be a lot of gold generated. Let's see, Sam going good stable? Double stable? He has a power of victory, why isn't he going with men at arms? It's the only one in Castleage for the time being. This would actually have been devastating. Is he? Oh, this is, I think, full. full time on this. Oh, and Cow finds that out, and Cow is a massive army! Oh no! I think Cow. Oh, Cow can take out one of Sam's bases. I think with the town center, what am I watching here? You're gonna get town center keeps! Okay, Sam kinda doesn't have the, the stone for what he wants, but still! Still, okay, so Cow, what's Cow gonna do? This is getting rams. Doesn't have a lot of knights out there. Doesn't have a lot of spears. Which is the out to the massive of Lancers. I think Sam is starting to get out. Sam already trying to get his um, sacred sites. All of the sacred sites are close together without too much in between them. So holding down the middle could be important. We also got the uh, high trade house out there. I think Cow Tomato uh, will want to protect the hunting cabins, of course. The hunting cabin with the deer is gone. So I'm going with. Stable double range. Rock bomber are gonna be a huge feature of this uh, match. A lot of relics here for Sam. Sam is doing a good job of uh, getting them. Oh, this tower could be death here for, for Sam. Nobody has Lancers. Lancers will deal with that. Sam just needs actually more production buildings. Uh, I'm looking at the greed of Fury. Fury might be the biggest economy. A lot of wood, though. So Fury might just actually kind of... Does it have a lot of wood, though? Yeah, because he's just getting a ton of production, getting a lot of spears. Here's Crossbowman. Both guys already Castle Age, and here is the Force of Cow going in for Hounds. Hounds doesn't even have an army. He's second DC. Doesn't really have too much in the way of gold. He has a few javelin throwers. And... So well, that's it. The towers, uh, unfortunately, are not doing too much. Ah, this is rough. This is rough. All right, and Houts calls game. Thank you so much for playing Houts. Uh, yeah, just being in the corner here was rough. Very, very. Rough. Um. All right, and now he goes for Sam. It goes for Sam, but Sam, Sam can defend a little bit. This tower here is just watching. We're going with the third TC. Sam won't lose for getting the Tower of Victory and this TC uh, destroyed. Uh, but almost. Could be a huge portion of his economy. I don't think he can try to escape. I don't think that would be possible. Uh... Oh, getting some stone walls. I why the TCs? Why the TCs? Now he has village fortresses. One, he has village fortresses now. He could be trying to get all of the stone. At least like two or three keeps around this. Uh, he's defended and he's gonna have a great economy. This is danger, right? So Sam's uh, fifteen villagers out there. Our dad and Cow is just massing up ramps. It's gonna be hard, very hard to stop. However, Cow is village, uh, so 
everybody else in the server right now is Castlage. So they should have the tech advantage in the better units. Uh, oh, the, the blacksmiths being here hurts my soul. Hurts my soul. I was starting to kind of out a little bit. So let, let's look at the resources per minute here of Sam. Sam is on a healthy amount of resources per minute. Though. Oh, a little bit less than cow. Not too much less. Uh, he's getting the sacred sites. Yeah, but now the sacred sites are dead. Oh, they are not. Couch tomato just. How do we get over to cow's base? Gonna run into the army. This is still a lot of army. And 20 spears will eventually beat the 13 knights. Good knights as well. You want to save these guys. Not even killing Sam's uh, villagers, which is nuts to me. Nice trap. Nice trap from Cow. Oh, and Couch Tomato is gonna get his knights all killed. Beating Jean Dark as well. Ah, oh, going under with a fierce base. He has to run away. But now we have mass mangies and mass spears with some crossbowmen. This is actually pretty good from Fury. It's a good army. These are veteran spearmen as well. The bonus damage is going to be right up there. Um, all of this infantry will get crushed by the Mangies. This is a second DC. No, this is the landmark DC. Uh, yeah, you, you want to preserve that, so... Uh, the hands are down. The hands are down. Sam kind of gets saved by Fury here. Didn't they get the... Uh, this gets you the wrong way around? Might be. Oh no, it gets our unidimensional now. Yeah, gates work both ways now. There's no, no sides here too. Getting another PC. Sam really trying to boom as much as he can. Uh, Couch Tomato trying to attack here. Not enough army. For our Roost player. Uh, and yeah, the 28 spears from Fury, honestly, these are some of the best spears in the game. Their range. Does he have phalanx? He does have phalanx. So if we look here, let's pick up a spear from, from Jean d'Arc here. They have 0.29 range. He's have point, I think it's 58 range. 159 range. Unless we have double the range. They can attack from the back row, which I think is massive. Um... These are just deadly. Oh, look at Sam! That's cheeky from Sam. Sam has nowhere to go except this corner. But this corner for him is really, really good. He's trying to set up trade. Four markets. Uh, trade is usually the end goal on these FFAs. But I think of trade now. Their base is in danger. Like... I was just gonna pull away. Oh, you converted. Oh, I'd love to see Jean get converted. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna pull these back. I'm gonna pull them back. They're gonna die with the relics in the hands. Oh, they're gonna die with the relics in their hands. Oh, but now Fury is gonna move into Cow's base on the other side of the Meganels. In this case, it's Manjanique's. A much, much more solid choice than um, than Rams as far as your siege goes. Oh, if the Cow on the defender goes down, Sam has lost the game. And Cow Tomato is going in. Oh, this is crazy. And, alright, we have some men at arms, finally. They don't have the boost, which is unfortunate, but, uh... All oh, the damage the Rams are doing, you may be able... What's happening? You need to go and kill the Rams, man. Otherwise, yeah, I, I don't... This is not good for Sam. And Sam is dead. Sam is dead. Thank you for playing, Sam. Uh, yeah, that was Cow. Oh, man. 
Yeah, but no! No! Cow! Oh, Alright, Cow does have the guild hall. Oh, look at the shots of the Manjanique. How ridiculous are they? They don't actually deal that much damage. The units, but they deal a lot of damage to farms and the... Supposedly, they deal damage to a lot of buildings. Really wanting to fully destroy the PC. Now, alright, we have a keep. On the other side, protecting Fury. It's gonna be between Fury and Couch Tomato. If Cow doesn't manage to beat this and the Mansion eats here. An incendiary! That's a lot of damage! Oh my god! Anjanique's just tearing down the archers and the how many archers were those? Yeah, Cow taps out. Cow would have had no chance of stopping this, not after that insane Manjanique shot. So it's between Cow, so it's between Fury and Cow Tomato. So let's see, Cow Tomato going up. I really don't like this Spasky Tower, especially not in this game state. Let's see, maybe it will come into play. So let's see how Couch Tomato is faring here. As the second PC, that 71 economy, Fury Road is going to be maxed out. 16. So Couch Tomato really is going to have to use the, the full might of his army. And he's really going to need the Sprinkles. Crossbowmen are okay. No real unit here that uh, gets, really gets killed by the Crossbowmen. Uh, and the knights, which get killed by both units that Fury has. So Fury is a composition that should, in theory, hard counter Couch Tomato. Couch Tomato has sunk in a lot more gold into his composition, which to me indicates that uh, with some proper micro, there could be a way. Fury, I think, is just going to push in, and if Couch Tomato is wise, he's going to retreat, give the ticket side away. He tried to fight under the Spaskaya Tower. Manjanix can only do so much. They are now in Kinetic, which is that... Uh, is a lower area of effect that deals more damage. But I like the incendiary damage. That is pretty good. Alright, there we go, there we go. Couch Tomato pulling back onto the Spaskaya Tower. And I'm pretty sure Fury doesn't want to fight here. This is a key. This has a cannon place. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, you don't really want to fight them with knights. Oh, maybe you do. Maybe you do. The knights going into spears, but the Manjanix are all falling. Benjamix are really good in numbers, and all of the spears go down to the keep. So all of a sudden, uh, yeah, all of a sudden those crossbowmen don't look so healthy. And the uh, couch tomato should really try to look for what units are coming out, uh, because I see a lot of spears here. So now we've been getting more barracks, so this really indicates to me that you need archers. But also, Fury Road is going to have his own siege. And the siege here is in the form of Culverins. Uh, let's see the bounty for Couch Tomato. He's on 440, which is not ideal, but he's taking on Badir from the High Trade House, which is what you want. Right now, though, yeah, Couch Tomato really, really needs his own siege. Uh, getting go by the steep is going to be tough. There's a lot of fluff here from the other players. The side of the map that Fury can't really go to. So I think this is what we have to work with. Oh, there we go! There's the traders! They are light, ranged, and melee camels. So they are really powerful at dealing with crossbowmen. And I don't think Couch Tomato. No, he does not have much of an army. He's getting Strelzi. I honestly, like, I love Strelzi. Strelzi may be the... Bruce's best unit. Unfortunately for, um, for Couch Tomato, uh, I don't think he's gonna have too much time to mass up, really. Because we already have a bunch of Manjaniks, we have a few Gulam, Spears, Crossbowmen. Ooh, I'm 
the explosive shots. They are not actually dealing with the with the walls that well. Not dealing with the walls that well. They won't be dealing. Oh, they are dealing with Strauzzi somewhat well. Ah, but Katsumato has no units. Doesn't have quite the income. Keep a steady production of Strauzzi. Doesn't have front line. Which is like, absolutely awful. The Manjanik aren't actually doing too much. That choke point, if he can hold on to the choke point, that's fantastic. He can't and he's not holding on to the choke point. The spears aren't actively tapping into the Spaskaya Tower. And the Spaskaya Tower falls in this game, but there's also a Kremlin here. 15 uh, supply points. You can very easily live your militia. Ooh, villager repairing! Yeah, I don't know about that. We are getting boiling oil now. Boiling oil got nerfed, but it's still, I think, all of this is. All of this is captured with boiling oil. There's only 40. Ah, 40 bounty away from the last bounty. So critical for late game. Pulling everybody, pulling all of the boys here for this basket tower. He's gonna get a refund on that gold and on that stone bow. It's huge. Alright, Spaskia Tower goes down. Still that choke point. That choke point could still be significant. Yeah, but now we have Gulam, so we really need those uh, those either Strauss or Crossbowmen. Strauss and Strauss are super expensive. I think it's very easy to under overestimate just how expensive they are. I think Fury is just going to be content with taking down the landmarks. Oh, the economy of Fury is just so much better. Now Tomato feels like he can't really produce here. Militia though, they have to be in early while fighting and protecting the Spaskia Tower. Oh, that would actually have been good. Now they're just going to fall to the Gulam. A little bit late, a little bit of desperation here on the militia. That was unfortunate. They're all going down, they're not even expiring. So they have 15 seconds now, left until they expire. Um, they have one ticket, so you can summon two of them. Just everything is late now for Touch Tomatoes. Trying to tack up while creating units. Not the way to go, and this army is gonna overpower the, the official front line here for Couch Tomato. He has the other base in the north, that might provide enough economy for him to build himself back up. The more units show up, we have a few hand cannoneers now. Still, eyes on the Springles. He really wants to take down the Manjaniques. Now there's just a lot of units out there. Oh, and was that? And can he use destroy Springles really well? Oh, did he really? Oh, he's destroying the. Ah, oh, he's destroying the wall! Here he's destroying the wall! And I guess he really has to. Ah, oh, Fury just ignoring the Kremlin. That really feels terrible. Uh, we've been there. These armies can just ignore defenses. It's really awful. Trying to go for siege workshops. Now we see a Manganel come out. Manganel really good against range. And with Kremlin, this Kremlin feels like it's a lost Kremlin. There we go. Just that's two bombards. Two bombards, and we're trying to mass Kremlins. Where are we massing them too? And Kremlins isn't gonna beat that. And Kremlins take a while. It's 35 seconds. The only way out, really, you mess them up, you pull them to the back of your base, give up the front here, and maybe with like 20 strolls you can start doing something. You're gonna have to mic with them. It really goes up against what Kremlin is all about. And Kremlin such a long time. Stationary. Strauzzi and hand cannoneers in general are very good. Oh my god, is this... Is that mechanic of theirs really, really... Like, it's not even a bad mechanic, it's just weird. Now the production is getting deleted. Ah. What is the out for Couch Tomato? You suspend the 2000 gold. 
but there are just everything is everywhere and he calls it so congratulations to fury winning the december of thursday first. uh for watching see you in the next